Here's the assessment criteria from both of the units combined into a single document so that you can see how the criteria are linked to each other through the tasks that I've set up for each one of those points that have been put here on this document. Now you'll see that the pink and the blue separate the two units out, pink being DAD and blue being DBD, Data Analysis and Design, Design and Database Design. Now task one, you've done, you've done most of that through the work that you did with Nick and I would suspect that P1, P1 and M1 have already been achieved. We need to talk about D1 and I think we better leave that until we look at the modelling processes in more detail and consider what may or may not have gone wrong. Task 2 is very, very straightforward. I will give you a scenario which is especially linked to a certain situation which a client might have. It's going to closely represent what a business might need you to do as a database architect or a database administrator or a database designer or whatever you choose to call yourself. Now P4, P2, M2 and D1 will all link together into a single submission of a task. I'll ask you to create a logical model in three forms. Now remember the three forms that I've asked you to consider already, the physical, the conceptual and the ERD, and we'll get them together into a single document which will actually link here into task four very lovely, very, very nicely. In task three, we create the database. We create an, uh, an implement a logical data model in DB Designer Fork, and we apply that model as a data definition language script against the SQL Server database which we've created using SQL Server Management Studio. We'll create and populate that database with tables, so that's P3 completed. And Then what we will do is we will create uh, a way in which you can import some data into your database from an external source. That's quite complex and it's going to take us to that, uh, doing that as a separate task. Once we get it set up, very straightforward, but complex to set up in the first place. As I've said, Task 4 already describes different models that you're going to use and the benefits of logical data modelling have been discussed at length in the classroom so you should be quite clear about those. Now here's where it gets a little bit more complicated again. Task 5 is going to be about the physical forms and data manipulation techniques that we will use inside the database itself. You will create forms which will allow data to be checked at the point of form entry they will definitely be advanced features because they're going to use uh, features of C-sharp in order to access the SQL Server directly. The automated function will be the creation of new records through the, the clicking of a button. You're going to perform queries against multiple tables and multiple criteria in the database and then push that data out again to something else, perhaps an ASP.NET web page. You're going to test the logical data model. You're going to try and make sure that this validity that we've that we've created really does work. You're going to create take, create a test against the relational model. That's once again those sorts of things. Make sure you're making sure that relational integrity is uh, referential integrity is in place. And you're going to eva evaluate the model against the user need that we set up here, uh, given in the given requirements. You're going to justify the testing procedures and then evaluate your final model. Very straightforward. The, these tasks are all going to be really well, very well linked and they should lead you to a nice conclusion quite quickly.